hard to break. Today we gonna we are from Let's Two Zero Four Nine Group Thirty One. I have got news for you. My name is Muhammad Shafiq bin Muhammad Zaidi. My matric number is zero two zero three five zero two. I'm from Faculty Architecture and Design Faculty. I'm stay at Thames College. And my course is architecture. Okay. Uh, for this, for this uh, session. So uh, my name is Kum Chi Pong. My course is computer <laughs> science, major in networking. I stay at Kosas K O S A S S College of Science. Alangkah cha. Alangkah cha. Alangkah cha. My faculty is Faculty of Computer Science and Information Technology. My matrix number is one nine seven seven two three. Hello, uh, my name is Muhammad Nazrul Naim Beruslan. My matrix number is one nine nine eight one eight. Hi, I'm Amechi, and my matrix number is one nine eight zero five one. I'm Wong Kim Her, matrix number one nine six six zero four. My name is Nurul Sanadiratul Kashi. My matrix number is two zero two six nine six. My name is Tan Jibran, matrix number one nine seven six double two. My name is Muhammad Azhar bin Mazlan. My matric number is one nine seven six six nine. So welcome back to Koki. And today we are going to discuss on section science and technology. So who should start? I'm going to start first. The headline that I choose is the Uber of Education. For this headline, the article is about. Uh, about the platform that they create uh, like Uber for tuition, private tuition at school, at, at house. This, uh, this platform was organized by husband and wife from Qatar. Okay. Uh, they started this uh, when they want to, when they try to move it. Uh, to build a system that can can provide a private tutor for uh, homeschooling and tuition to improve uh, the children after they uh, come back from their government school. They start with just five tutors uh, who were their friends. After a month, they start to making profit and add new tutors and have a lot of stuff. Stuff. Okay, from that, they start off with a small project and around their their neighborhood. And from then, they become more become a bigger company. They start to realize that the demand for private tuition become more become more become more important and demanding. Then they start to develop the system and upgrade their system. Monthly for the apps, they 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 encourage the. Uh, parents and their children to engage with uh, with a 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 student to avoid a uh, conflict between the teacher and the the students. Okay, good news, good news. So we have Uber for studies right now, right? Wow. 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 So at once. Yes. So next, we're going to share this. Yes. Right. What I have here is diving into data. So as we know, data base has played an important role nowadays because every I believe that every company has their own database. Yes. Right. 
uh, the database is used to store any information about the company or even the customer or even the business about the company. Everything about the company it will be stored in the database. So, uh, what is data visualization? It's an approach to data management and it allows application to retrieve and manipulate data. So, from here, from the news I got, the Star Media Group's business and Business Analytics Manager, Sandy Mitra, has organized a workshop for data visualization a few days ago. And uh, in the workshop, Mitra guided participants on how to use data visualization software, Tableau and Tableau Prep to build a dashboard which is with iterative maps, charts and tables where they teach the participants how to organize their data or how to store their data so that when they want to retrieve the data, they won't be confused of where I store the data, how I retrieve the data. So uh, from the news, also it stated that a few company uh, managers such as Goldstream Cinemas, Chief Operating Officer and also Malaysian Rubber Export Promotion Council the Nawawi Thai Bank Property Consultants in Mira Berhad also send their representative to the workshop as they want their staff to learn about the data visualization, the data visualization for the company benefits. Yeah. So, um, in addition to software training, the attendees also got a chance to see data visualization being put into practice by the staff media. So they how it actually works. So the aim of the workshop was to show participants the value of data visualization, visualization which can give a clearer sight to the company's day-to-day -day operation, including the understanding of the target market. So I guess that's all from me. So my third so my name is Khan. Love the whole page. And this from the, the Star Life Star. And the title is a student and the students. The type, uh, so usually now in US, the US school are using student phones to track and deliver them for their own safety uh, despite the lack of evidence to show which proof is correct, which is protect their safety. So in this news, they state that in a lot of schools in the US, at least 10 schools, they install a radio frequency scanner which we pick up on the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signal from student phone and check them within the accuracy of one meter. This one we uh, check them in, in the school where they go and what they're doing or because the school allowed the student to bring their phone and the school by using this uh, technology they will track up where they went and where they go or what what they do with their phone and also not only in US in some school of the Middle East which be not stated in this news they also trying to buy this technology to apply in their school. And uh, at the back of this news, they stated that uh, although this, they, they said that this surveillance, when the student is under surveillance, their safety is uh, in safe or they are under control, but when the when the company they have made the to state that when although the the surveillance technology is installed in the US school but it doesn't really to show that the case of crime like usually they got shooting case or not shooting case right? so it doesn't really show this case has been has been in decreased and also the also the there's a fake uh, 
I mean, the facial recognition providers admitted that their technology does not prevent school shipping, even though the school district still spend millions on the surveillance. And also, this shows the company also show has no study to show. Yeah, okay. To show the the the, <laughs> the school shooting of doesn't make the student safer. Yeah, this is <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's quite a long news and quite interesting. So I think. Uh, Thank you for your summary. This is my turn. I think this is my turn. So nowadays, uh, everyone have their own smartphones, right? Yeah. yeah. And their smartphones, you know, uh, it has a Bluetooth, right? Yes. So uh, my article for today is uh, the main the main is that turn off Bluetooth. So as you know that owners of Android smartphones and tablets should use Bluetooth with care at the moment because. As a security vulnerability means that an attacker could um, use it to steal your personal, your personal data or inject malware. So that's mean that uh, Bluetooth is also can be uh, used as a weapon for to uh, to steal your personal data, such as your bank account, your bank pin, as uh, so whatsoever. Uh, so the vulnerability is uh, called CVE. 2020-0022 and could allow an attacker to exploit Bluetooth to, uh, to exploit Bluetooth to execute uh, arbitrary code on devices uh, uh, running Android 8 or 9 so uh, uh, for Android time uh, it, it will not affect them so, uh, when, uh, so if you have the Android 10 so it is good for you actually so yeah. for uh, for Android eight and nine, so I think you all should be uh, should be careful and make sure that your Bluetooth is always turned off when you are not uh, used. So uh, you should check under your setting that uh, the latest security is being updated, so that uh, you can make sure that your your personal your personal can be can be defended. So. If you see the dates 2020-0201 or 2020-0205 uh, for your last update, then your device is safe. So that means uh, if, if your device is updated this year, which is 2020, then your device is safe. So uh, users uh, cannot manually install the security patches uh, with Android. Uh, they have to wait until the device uh, told us to uh, update so uh, uh, when the device is not asked you to update so i mean that you have to buy a new phone yeah so there is not there is not safe uh, enough for you anymore to use um, that uh, device so i think uh, what i can conclude is that uh, we have to use our devices well and make sure that Make sure that uh, yes. Make sure that our Bluetooth always turn on, turn off, and uh, check the security. I think that's all for me. Okay. So next. Okay. Okay. I will share a story about a basic method to sell cashless technology to other retailers. This article written by the Sabel Mustafa from CS Store Decision Expo. Amazon, a company that already announced that it will begin selling its cashless checkup technology to other retailers. The technology allows customers to shop and then leave without waiting in the checkup line. Cameras and other sensors monitor the item shoppers and will charge them automatically. Amazon said it takes a few weeks for it to install the cashless technology in retailer store, depending on whether it's been implemented in new or existing store. Amazon also have their own Go store that customer only scan the Amazon Go app when they're entering the store. 
customer will scan their credit card. Before they leave, if they want a receipt, they can receive a kiosk at the store and enter their email and the uh, bill will send to their email. Okay, okay. So, I choose news about doctor. Any size and technology can be used for good or bad. The choice is yours. So, our ex prime minister, Tuan Dr. Mahathir Mohamad, gave us his lecture on how size and technology will contribute to world peace uh, at Japan. So, uh, he said that size and technology can be leveraged for good or bad to humanity, and the choice lies with people. He also said that the problem related to science and technology was not about the materials, but the human who handles them. Uh, he also defined the scenario to a knife where the tool could be used to carve beautiful things and, and on the other hand could, or could be used wrongly to kill people. So, this news uh, uh, actually is about uh, Science and technology that can be good or bad for us, it, uh, it's actually up to us uh, how we use about that. So I think that everyone has presented their news. No. Oh, no, 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 no. We have two more news. Everyone Sorry. Me, <laughs> I'm so sure. Sorry. Okay, my title will be the Autonomous Electric Urban Transport, which is the luxurious, luxurious Brand Jaguar Land Rover yeah. has unveiled a project lecture, which is a four meter long electric concept vehicle designed to autonomously transport people, goods, and services around the urban mobility network in the future. As the day goes on and the urban public turns more frequent towards the shared mobility options, and this means that there is an increase in the daily transportation because of the increasing of populations and this made this even uh, made the environmental process get even more worse. And the and this project vector is aimed to travel on demand and autonomously to send the people on goods from place to place in a safer manner than today what we have. So this is all the news I get. So, okay, so the last news I'm going to share is uh, there's a new technology called Climate 360 Smart Bed. So this smart bed is sometimes when you feel too hot that when you sleep, then the bed because it's a smart bed. Okay, so if you can't go. If you uh, change the temperature of the mattress and make it feel cooler so that you can sleep soundly. Okay, and sometimes when you feel that the bed is too stiff, then maybe you can the, this climate 360 smart bed can adjust that like maybe just the head part become tilted wow. Wow. like this. So that you can you don't need the uh, pillow also can. Okay. And then, and then Sometimes maybe your partner is snoring, then this uh, climate 360 bed also can help you. Oh. And <laughs> yeah, the sound is good. The climate 360 bed cover the partner head. Okay, <laughs> will he die? <laughs> I think he will pass away. <laughs> okay. okay, so that's all for me. Okay, let's choose now. So, uh, I will choose mine and the uh, bed. Bad. Yeah, the smart bed.
So I think uh, we have choose our next publication that is for the science and technology that is uh, our smart pad and the uh, student surveillance. So they saw from us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. More than twenty.